Speaking of teams, you probably heard the Monty Python team is getting back together next year. Uh, the fans are delighted by this. But at the same time, I have to ask myself a couple of questions. One, why are they doing it really? And two, will they be playing Canada? Here's another Bravo commercial. They were going to be the team comedy. Now they bring the team bankrupt. The National Film Board of Canada presents <laughs> Monty Python and the Stanley Cup. How what he looks at the history of our nation's favorite sport. Featuring Michael Palin and Harry Jones as Lord and Lady Stanley. Yeah, isn't it? The Stanley Cup. Ah, oh, yes, it's very nice here. I wonder if the Lewis's get the Stanley Cup, sir. What? Ah, oh, yes, I think it's only fair, dear. I mean, don't spoil it. The Red Sea Cup is a big match to run under the pack. You don't understand, Mary. You won't stop there. One day it'll be the Stanley Forest, the Stanley Knight, and the Stanley Spoon. Oh! And the Stanley Fever? Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, yes. Be a bit of a job getting a huge, greasy locomotive to be the centerpiece of the kitchen table. We'd have to move the cat. Never mind the next foot cutter in. Uh, Mary. Unless we had no vegetables and did away with the standing salad bowl. And featuring John Cleese as the very first puppy that will leave. Right. Now, if any of you bastards make the foul <laughs> once more, I shall blow this Cuba. It may not be the most logical instrument to wear or skate in, but this is, after all, still a very young sport. But anyway, the clock and steel was all bent. See the National Film Board of Canada's Monty Python and the Stanley Cup, and see why Monty Python is now something completely destitute.